Hey guys, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how you can import TensorFlow and Keras into Jupyter Notebook without having any errors like the ones you see here. Let's go. First thing you need to do is head on over to anaconda.com slash product slash distribution and you should be able to download uh, Anaconda here. You're going to need it. So there's different installers of course for Windows, Mac and Linux. So download the one that's right for you and then I'll show you the next step once it's installed. All right, so now that you've installed Anaconda, you can open up Anaconda Navigator, which is included in the distribution. And you'll see that there is a Jupyter Notebook thing here. Uh, we're not going to launch it immediately, but what we are going to do is open up our terminal if we're on Mac. And if we're not on Mac, what we're going to do is open up our Anaconda command prompt, which is what they use on Windows. So now that we're in our terminal or Anaconda command prompt, what we want to do is create a new environment. And this new environment is where we're going to install TensorFlow so it'll work in our Jupyter Notebook. So we'll go ahead and type in conda create dash dash name and right here is where we're going to put the name of our new environment. I'm just going to call it test and because I am just showing you how to do this but you can call it whatever you like. So we will go ahead and create that. All right and it'll ask me if I want to proceed. I'm going to put Y because yes I do. So now that we've got our test environment set up, what we want to do is activate that environment. And we can do that by going conda, activate, and then the name of our test environment. So mine is test env, but whatever you called yours, you're gonna to have to write that there. And then we'll just go ahead and click enter. So now you'll see that it's activated. It'll actually have the name of your environment right on the left beside your name. So now that we've got our test environment activated, we just need to install TensorFlow. So let's go ahead and do that by typing conda install with two L's dash C conda dash forge and then tensorflow. So we've got that there and I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger so you can fully see it and we will click enter. And now this will take a moment so we'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, we're back to this point where we have to click proceed so we'll just type in Y to continue. And there we go, tensorflow is currently installing. I will be back when it's done. All right, TensorFlow is now fully installed. So the next thing we have to do is install IPY kernel. So let's go conda install dash C anaconda IPY kernel spelled just like that. And let's click enter on that as well. And we will proceed here, click Y. Okay, amazing. We've got IPY kernel installed and now we have to set it up in our environment. So we're gonna type Python dash M IPY kernel install dash dash user dash dash name equals and we're going to put our environment name here so i mine is test end remember to put yours correctly and we're going to click enter there and this will install all of that to our jupyter notebook and have it set up perfect you can see that it says it's installed the kernel spec in test environment in the correct path directory and now that's all done we can go to our jupyter notebook by going back to our anaconda navigator here and now that we're in here, we click launch on Jupyter Notebook. I was hovering over the wrong one there, but we'll click launch here. And let's see what happens. So our Jupyter Notebook popped up in a browser. So I'll just drag that so you can fully see it. And what you'll notice is if you click over here on new, you'll actually see a new test environment. So we can go to a certain folder. I'm just gonna go to my desktop, to my coding, my Jupyter Notebooks, and I'm just gonna create a new file within that test environment. So I'm gonna go here new test n this will pop open another page and from here we can go import tensorflow as tf and import keras as keras and if we run this let's see what happens and as you can see we've got no errors so this should work now and you're good to go i hope you found this video helpful if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe it helps my channel out a lot and yeah see you next time thanks for watching